Well, hello, my darlings, and welcome back to our channel. I am so glad you are here. Today, on Danny's Designs Craftsman's 2018, day 17, I am going to t share with you how you can take a $1 red wine glass and kick it up several notches to create a glam feathered piece. I sure hope you'll stay tuned. For this project, you will need a red wine glass, some white acrylic paint, any brand of your choosing, iridescent glitter, a flameless pillar candle, I've already dressed mine with diamond wrap and gems. You will need a square 5x5 five five mirror, some beads, any color of your choice, I'm going with these iridescent ones, a roll of diamond wrap, two feathers, and a few gems. Of course, you will need your handy dandy tools. And today, you're going to need a paintbrush. Let's get crafting. The first thing we're going to do is paint our glass so that while our glass is drying, we'll be able to work on the other components of our project. And so, what we are going to do now is cover our glass in our white acrylic paint from the top to the bottom including underneath the base which is going to become the top of your project now to do this you're just going to go in with some broad clean strokes not worrying necessarily too much about overlapping not worrying too much about the smoothness of the paint what we are going to do ultimately after this glue dries is cover it with some Mod Podge and then cover it with glitter. So if you have any bumps, any bruises, any ridges in your glass, that will help to give it some texture and give your project another dimension of elegance. So while we wait for our paint to dry, we are now going to prepare our feathers. The first thing we're going to do is cut off the end of those feathers to get rid of that sharp end. When you have cut off the first one, be sure to measure your two feathers to make sure that you are cutting off the same amount of the other one so that both of your feathers will have the same length. Once you have done that, you're going to ensure that the rib or the rough part of that feather is going to be underneath, so the bottom of your feather. So you're going to turn it upside down and work with the part of the rib that is not as exposed. Once you have done that, you're going to make sure that you have in creating this piece what looks like a left wing <laughs> and a right wing so that you do not end up with two left wings. If you're understanding what I'm saying, you're making sure that the way your wings lay is going to look like indeed there are wings, one left one and one right one. Once you have found your placement or your left and your right, you are going to join those two feathers together in an X pattern by placing glue on top of one and then sitting the second one in that glue. You're going to apply some pressure and hold it in place to make sure that that hot glue engages not only with the rib but also with the feathers for added support where those two rings meet is where we're going to put our jewel but before we can place our jewel we are going to take our diamond wrap and we are going to outline the top of the rib that we can see with our diamond wrap and to do this we're simply going to use our hot glue gun Placing a very light stream 
of that hot glue not too much because you don't want your feathers to get jumbled up in that hot glue you want them to maintain that nice airy feel and look and once you have placed your stream down you're going to follow the length of that feather down with your hot glue and continue to place your diamond wrap in that glue when you're finished with one side you're going to continue the process of course with the other side and then you're going to place your jewel right in the middle So here is our glass that we have glittered and have allowed to dry. And what I'm going to do now is take a length of my iridescent beads and I'm going to place them around the base by using my hot glue to do so. Now the other beads that you see I'm sitting there, I simply took those beads and cut them off of the length of beads that I have and we are going to place those on the glass one by one. But as you can see what I'm doing here now is simply putting down a stream of that hot glue around the circumference of the bottom of that base and holding those beads in place for a few seconds while that glue sets. Now, I am going to take my independent or singular beads. I'm going to go in with a bullet of hot glue, one or two at a time, and then I'm going to place that bead down on that glass, string side down. And the reason why I say string side down is, and you will see when you are cutting, <laughs> beads from a string of beads that's you know not just strung so you can cut them and get the beads off but beads that are attached when you cut them off of that length of beads you're always going to get a short piece of string attached so this is why I said in your dollop that you are putting down you are going to place your beads beads string side down into that glue and that is going to help to obscure that thread from your guests. Here is our glass that we have finished gluing on all of our beads and edging our base with a length of those beads. Now we are getting ready to put our wings on our piece by gluing it up under the base using, of all things, the diamond wrap that we have placed to embellish it. Now I am going to glue mine sticking up like this to so that it looks, excuse me, like our angel is actually flying. If you would like to simply glue them onto the stem of your glass, that is going to give you, of course, another vantage point. But for my intents and purposes, I am gluing it so that my angel will look like she is flying. And as you see, I did, I simply placed a stream of hot glue on both of those runs of diamond wrap and I stuck them up under the base and I'm holding them into place and applying some pressure to make sure that that diamond wrap engages with that hot glue now if you wanted to add another layer of security or surety to this piece I would suggest not using only hot glue but going in with a combination of a permanent glue and your hot glue as well. So I'm going to go ahead, clean this up of any glue fronts there are, stage our piece, and then I'll be back to show you our finished project. Well, here you have it, my darlings, our glam feathered angel candle holder. Isn't this piece, these pieces, absolutely stunning? 
stunning. I think I would have to say, if I had to choose, I would say that there are two favorite parts in this project for me. The first of my favorites would have to be the iridescent theme that we have been able to run throughout this entire piece from our iridescent glass glitter to our iridescent beads to our iridescent gems that we have used to decorate our candles and then if you had to twist my arm <laughs> my darlings I would have to say that my second favorite part would have to be the feathers the feathers simply give this piece a nice airy feel and look and not only does it give it that airy look but it gives it another notch of elegance and another source of texture now as you can see I'm showing you here when I made the template I made the template with two shorter feathers because I did not want to get halfway through the project didn't like it and had to scrap to a pair of my larger feathers but the one that I made for you on film with the larger feathers because I realized yes I really did like the look I think this piece to me looks better with the larger feathers but my darlings you tell me if you had a choice which would you use larger longer feathers or shorter ones but in the meantime I think I would have to say my darlings that we have nailed yet another project and we have done so on a budget so tell me if you have found any value in this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up as well as leave me a comment in the comment section below I would love to hear from you to my Danny's darlings thank you ever so kindly for all of your love your feedback your questions your comments and especially during this craftsman season all of your words of encouragement please know that none of it is wasted and i appreciate each and every one of you to those of you however who may not yet be danny's darlings but who may have possibly stumbled across our channel today kindly be sure to subscribe so that you will become a member of this awesome and growing community as we learn from and craft with each other now during Craftmas on a daily basis and when you do subscribe also be sure to ring the notification bell so that you will be made aware whenever any of our videos are published as well as whenever we go live as a community but before I sign off from our video today of Danny's Designs Craftsman's 2018 Day 17, I'm going to leave you with the motto to our channel, which is simply this. Why, buy, when, you can DIY. And so, my darlings, my loves, until tomorrow. When I see you again for Danny's Designs Craftmas 2018, day 18, I say to you, please, 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 take care of yourselves for me. Know that I love you all. <laughs> Bye now.